They say the kitchen is the heart of a home, and if that's the case, ours is dying. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be something that is difficult for us to share because it is true life. It is not glamorous. It is not pretending and showing you the best angle. This is a deliberate video to show you guys a real life situation and how we need some help. So for any of you who do not know, we live in a single wide mobile home that was built in 1984. We are a family of four and about 900 square feet who not only live here, homeschool here, work here, and run a business out of our home, also just trying to get around. Needless to say, <coughs> needless to say, space is tight and we need to maximize our storage and organization in our entire home. Our kitchen is fighting us. It is not helping us at all in being organized and creating a nice, clean, calm environment, and we need help. I want to start this video by giving you guys a tour of our kitchen, showing you exactly how everything is right now, because this is the best we can do right now with what we have, and this is how we've been living. I've not removed anything from the kitchen that we don't normally have in here. I've not gone through cabinets and cleaned things up. I've left it 100% as is. So let's go ahead and start with these cabinets here, right above the stove, to the right, and to the left of it. We'll go ahead and open the door so you guys can see. Well, those are done. We'll open this right side and this left side. What we've got on the left is a mixture of mixing bowls, colanders, knives, kind of cooking um, utensil storage. Here over the stove, we've got a mixture of a few pots and pans, some boxed food stuff we don't have another place for, and on the right is probably a cabinet that looks underutilized, but we actually just cleaned it out. It was full of um, old Halloween candy. Why the heck we had that in here? I don't know. It was stuff that you don't realize in your cabinets until you actually go looking. So as you can see, it's not really a system. There is no system here other than stick it where it goes, for this cabinet, hope and pray it doesn't fall on you, especially while you're cooking. And otherwise, if it fits, it fits. So thinking about ideas of what should be here, with it being above the stove, it kind of makes me think you would have your cooking stuff here, pots and pans, um, possibly things along that line. So, what do you think? To the right of this stove and cabinetry is actually a spice rack. Let me close this so I don't hit myself. I built this spice rack a couple of years back. It's actually made into the wall because we needed a place to put our spices. So this is working okay. Our only complaint with this would probably be that there's not enough storage for what we feel like we have to store spice-wise. But if we're honest, at the same time, things like vanilla extract, barbecue seasonings, and stuff that we really won't use that much or might be better off in another space, doesn't have to go in that spice rack. All right, let's spin you to the left a little bit. We've got in the same corner to the right of the sink. Right now is being used for cup storage for our boys. They are, um, I don't know, kid, kid age. <laughs> they're, they're as old as kids. Seven and four right now. And so they're in these kind of intermediary cups. They're in these 
not grown up yet, but not kid yet. So as such, those things are bulky. They take up a lot of space and they do not stack at all. Somebody needs to invent a stackable kids cup like that. Anyway, so this whole cabinet is devoted just to storing those cups for the kids with the possible, looks like I see some stuff in the back that's not kids cups. So that's what's in that cabinet. I would say it's underutilized for the space, but it is what it is right now. So let's spin on around. And there's the window that overlooks the front of our yard, driveway, whatever, out the window. And spin you around. And so here, so here we are at the cabinets to the left of the sink and right above the dishwasher. As such, this is where a lot of our dishes go. We have one complete plate set, two complete plate sets. And we have paper plates, and then we have miscellaneous bowls. I feel like we might be drowning in dishes. Maybe that's our problem. Anyway, what I did in the past to kind of help with that is I bought some of these metal racks. They're plate racks that go in a cabinet. Those are awesome. I highly recommend those. They have worked for years. We've brought them from house to house, never had a problem. And now that I think of it, because how often do you really think about the little shelves in your shelf cabinets? rock on plate system other than that we've got all of our cups here and it ranges from our regular drinking cups to our thermoses for coffee to our insulated tumblers for drinks and coffees and stuff like that probably need to get rid of a lot of this stuff but it's difficult to downsize over here like I said we got a mixture of bowls our paper plates kind of go at the side uh, a few kid plates and things that you know, her kind of things kids like to have. Is it used a lot? No. Is it really sentimental? No. Do we still have it? Yeah. So, you know how it is if you're a parent. If not, that's how it is. So, that rounds out the upper cabinets for our kitchen space. Minus two or three little areas. So, let me spin you around and take you to the horrible cabinet. And that's the one that's above the microwave. Get this sit down. All right. So here we have our microwave. It's a uh, average size. And then you will find, gosh, I'm gonna knock it off. You'll find in every nook and every cranny, there is stuff stuffed. Up here is pretty bad. Now this again will show you the problem of the cabinets we have, not having any shelves in the middle and us improvising. I bet there's diaper box in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, you ready for that? So this cabinet is probably, probably a foot deep. So it's a very deep cabinet, but it's largely out of our reach for us shorter people like we are. And no shelf means we just kind of stack and smush and hope it doesn't fall down on top of us. The problem with this, other than just being a visual mess, is we don't know what's in here. And that's something that kind of bothers me from an OCD standpoint or a CDO. It's kind of like OCD with the letters in order like they should be. I don't know what we have. So we don't know what we need to buy at the grocery store. And we don't know what we have to cook for dinners. And just the general sense of not knowing is really annoying and stressful. So it's time for us to not know and start to know what we need to know so we don't not know not know anymore. You know? Anyway, yeah, Pop-Tarts, boxes, um, I don't know, a giant thing of garlic. I don't know where that came from. We're not big garlaholics. But anyway, that's the top cabinet above the microwave. This, I cleaned out probably two months ago. Drug it out, cleaned it out and everything. Got rid of what was there because most of it was old or not needed or need to go somewhere else. And you can see, it's filled back up. It's not that we're necessarily food hoarders and just don't get rid of things. And it's more just the fact that we don't know where to put stuff. Or don't have a place to put stuff. Alright, there's a cabinet below the microwave. So let me tilt the camera down and show you that. Alright, so this is also a good example of what I don't want to show on YouTube. But I'll show it now. Our trash can sits here in front of the cabinet. Our laundry basket sits there in the hallway. Our broom and dustpan is over here. We don't know where else to put this stuff. 
So naturally, with the trash can blocking the cabinet, you got to move the trash can to get to the cabinet. But before you do that, you got to move the broom and dustpan, and before you do that, you got to move the kid's step stool that, for some reason, lives in the kitchen. Good enough. All right, there's the mess. We bought these cardboard can rotator racks years back. Those have been great. We love them. The problem with these is they're low to the ground, which makes it a little more difficult to get stuff out of. But more importantly, puts it down there in kid play zone. I don't have a clue what's in these anymore. It's like Mitch and Mash, any can goes anywhere. Isaac loves to get down here and play with the cans and it's just all mixed up. Also, prime example of not having any shelves in a cabinet just leads to chaos. Beside the dishes cabinet is actually our medicine cabinet and it is full of stuff and it goes way back to the wall. There's no telling what's back there. I wish we had a better place to put our medicine, but we seem to have a lot of it. We also have vitamins up there, cough drops, any kind of medicine-ish related stuff for a family. It goes there. It's kind of convenient having it in a central location, but it is a nightmare to find anything you want without dragging everything out and putting it on the counter. All right, there's one more cabinet to show, and that's the one above the refrigerator. There's not much up there to really look at, but it's another cabinet I want to show you so you can have a better understanding of exactly the layout and look and unfunctionality of our kitchen. Okay, so here's the cabinet above the refrigerator. There's really not much in there. It looks like a lot of baking things, but to be honest, I don't have a clue what's up there. It's really beyond our reach, and it is as deep as the refrigerator is deep, which makes it ridiculously easy to lose like a Ford Lincoln in there. For the base cabinets in the kitchen, there's not a lot grand and fantastic happening, so I'll do a quick layover shot and show you guys what's there. To the right of the stove is a small cabinet that is a horrible catch-all. Below the sink is a large cabinet that's a horrible catch-all. <laughs> to the left of the dishwasher is a large cabinet that is, <laughs> you guessed it, a horrible catch-all. And then rounding up are the only drawers in this entire kitchen and those are mostly broke, missing the knobs, and are really small and hard to organize. There you have it guys. That's the tour of our kitchen from our 1984 single wide mobile home. I am very, very eager to hear your ideas, your suggestions, and really pull the community together and give us some ideas so we can implement solutions to make our kitchen functional and a better place for our house and family. I do appreciate you watching as always. If you're not a subscriber yet, and this is interesting to you, click that subscribe button. We're gonna be going through a lot of new things with our channel, primarily fixing up, renovating on a budget, and repairing our single wide mobile home. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, or any kind of DIY, or things along those lines, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe and stay tuned. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care.